Welcome to the Stogie Press Smoking Lounge. This is Boston Jimmy here and my very good friend Steve Ahar. How you doing Steve? Great, how you doing today? Fantastic. Uh, Steve is a, a member of our lounge here. He comes over once in a while and smokes some cigars with us. And Steve, today we want to do a little sampling of the uh, Rodriguez Cigar Company's uh, Serie 84. Now, I don't know if you realize, but the uh, Rodriguez Cigar Company is the oldest cigar company in Key West. They've been there since uh, 1984, and uh, the, the old man, the patriarch of the company, he passed away just a couple of years ago, and his grandson, Danny DeFabio, has picked up the reins. Um, Danny had a lot of big shoes to fill. He was, um, his goal was to be a baseball player. He played baseball in high school. He played baseball at St. Thomas University in Miami. And he coaches baseball for the Key West Conks down at Key West High School in Key West. But he stepped into these big shoes, and one of the things he wanted to do was transform the company into more of a national company instead of just a local Key West operation. And what he did was he created this uh, Nicaraguan Puro uh, called the Siri 84, where the 84 represents a tribute to his grandfather, who, for the company that's been around since 1984. Uh, let me show you one of these cigars here. I'm going to sample these. This is, show that up to the camera a little bit. Um, it is actually a beautiful Nicaraguan Maduro wrapper. Uh, I mean, the, the, it's got a triple cap. Uh, the scent is just sweet. I get the notes of cedar on this one. Right notes of cedar. Um, important point is that even when you buy a five count box, this is a Spanish cedar box that he puts them in. So he treats all the cigars with pride. The actual band itself, um, he uses linen paper on the band. Um, spends a couple more pennies on the band, but it makes it pop. And if you look at the band, the band has a shield on it, and the shield has uh, two crossing keys, skeleton keys, and a crown above it with the established 1984. And that represents the fact that Rodriguez Cigars is the king of the keys. They are the oldest cigar manufacturer in Key West. Um, the other thing on the band is he designed it so that you would have to turn it to the side. You could see that it says Rodriguez on the side in, in, in the white background. And if you look very carefully at the copper plate above, you'll see kind of a Romanesque uh, symbology around it, representing Danny's heritage of being both Italian and Cuban descent. So with that, I think we should... Uh, fire these puppies up and see what they have to offer us. Sounds like a plan. Mine. Okay, do a cut, I'm gonna punch mine. Okay, you do a punch on yours. Now, while you're doing that, these cigars, Danny sent me down these cigars uh, about three months now. Uh, close to three months they've been aging. We've been uh, working together uh, to sample them on, on the phone together to see if they're ready to ship and just uh, a couple weeks ago we realized that they are ready. One of the things I noticed is that the tobacco is pre-light, smells like it's uh, well aged. Steve has uh, been doing cigars for a long time, he's owned a shop here in uh, Melbourne, Florida for quite a number of years in the past and as you know Steve that you know cigars sometimes when they're, not, when they're young there's ammonia that breathes out of them and when you pick that up, and if that's why you always want to smell the foot, because if it's got an ammonia smell, you probably don't want to smoke it yet. Let it age. It doesn't mean it's a bad cigar. It just means it, it's not ready. It's not ready to be smoked yet. These are absolutely ready to be smoked. So you were saying? I was saying that the draw on is very good. It's just so far, pre-lit draw is just the way I like it. Yeah, it's not a, uh, it's not, it's not restricted. It, it's not wide open. No. Um, so it's going to have a nice burn on it. A little spice.
spice in that front end with a little retro hail. Yeah, the spice kicked in uh, about 30 seconds from when I lit it. So right when you just said that, I was just getting a, quite a bit of spicy notes. <clears throat> that's got a that's a fuller flavored cigar at this point. Now, I'm not smoking as much as I used to, so. <laughs> no, you've calmed down a little bit since you sold the shop, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, three to four a day, and now it's one or two a week. Yeah. So I have a clean palate. My my palate's uh, very fresh right now. I did smoke a cigar Friday. Full volume of smoke. That was the one thing he's here. I was looking at that they, uh, you know, it's not book uh, pressed here. They did it. Looks like the Cuban style of rolling the tobacco, oh, which yeah. you know that old Dominican style where they. If you ever see a cigar and you look at it, you look at the foot, especially once it's lit, you can really see it. And I will tell you, probably 70% of the time. When you get a cigar that the tobacco's like that, it's always going to run down that side. Just too much air comes into one side, and this side doesn't get enough. And uh, if you ever get a runner, look at that cigar, look at that foot, and I guarantee you it's going to look like a folded newspaper. Um, Danny collaborated with um, Guillermo Pena uh, out of Miami, Guillermo Pena Cigars. Um, they're very good friends. Um, so they've collaborated on this blend. Um, it is being produced out of um, uh, special factories that he, he doesn't want to mention, um, but it is a, a very well-known uh, name that produces his cigars for him. Um, the actual uh, Key West store uh, produces about 50,000 cigars a year hand-rolled out of the store itself in Key West. Really? Um, yeah, amazing. And his grandmother... Um, actually rolls the, uh, what they call the vintage, uh, Panatella. And I just recently had that cigar I brought back with me. It's with age in my humidor for a couple of months. Amazing Panatella, perfect burn. I actually ordered another dozen from them just because I, I, I love it so much. So he's got a fantastic brand coming out. I think this cigar, though, is... Uh, is going to definitely put them on a more national chart. Um, as you as you smoke through these, you'll you'll appreciate what you're going to get out of it. And right now, the initial burn, you know, initial notes are uh, for me is earthy mm -hmm. with spice, pepper. You can feel it uh, definitely on my tongue, a little bit in the throat. It's not the not the most powerful cigar I've ever smoked, but it's uh, it's, hang, it's hanging well with a steak dinner. So. Got a lot of flavor. Let's see how she develops. So let's uh, let's smoke these down a little, and uh, let's get through the first third, and uh, and we'll catch up with you. Yeah, lots of smoke, Jimmy. So now about an inch into this cigar, and I just started noticing a little bit of flavor change. So originally we had that initial spice uh, right off the right off the front, that peppery taste that you feel in your palate, and now I'm noticing a well, a little drier here, a little leather notes. It's burning spectacular. Beautiful even burn. I don't know if you can see it. Got a nice long ash. Um, yep. It's, it's a beautiful ash. I mean, it's, it's got a... Definitely smoothed out that initial peppery spiciness right off the, off the top. is uh, mellowing out a little bit here. I love the, I love the char line. The char line is uh, it's pretty much dead nuts on. It's got a, uh, it's pretty, it's a nice thick char line going through it. Yeah. The effortless the, burn, still lots of smoke. Uh, beautiful. This is beautiful. See the wrapper. See how the wrapper's oiling up now. See these these cigars right out of the box. Well, it's a nice, it's a nice, you know, you got a nice oily wrapper. Um, a couple of prominent veins, but overall, very fine veins for a Maduro wrapper. Yeah, I you like said the this way is it, all Nicaraguan. Yeah, I like the way it's beating 
it, it be, it's be, starting to beat up. I think you might be out of focus. I like the way it's starting to, uh, to beat up now as it heats. Um, you know, they said it was a nice, you know, kind of a velvety, you know, wrapper to start with, and then it's now getting that nice little oiling coming into it. Oh, it's got a nice gray ash. Let's see uh, what she does the rest of the way. I used to have a problem identifying what is that taste? A metallic y, like pencil lead or graphite, which I do not like. It gives it that bitterness. I don't like a bitter cigar. Well, you're not, you're not so getting you like that a, in this. No, not in this at all. So if you, you know, if you like a bitter cigar, this isn't for you because uh, you know, we're not getting any of that graphite and metallic y taste, which is. We'll come back to uh, we're going through a good third of it right now. See where it goes. The ash might fall in the interim, but let's see what happens. How are we? Where are we? Yeah, we're, we're about the same place. You're a little ahead of me. Um, so the the ash the ash fell about maybe an inch and a half, good inch and a half. The ash held on. It's uh, picked right back up again. Um, I'm getting a nice transition in here. I think we were talking earlier. You get probably the same thing. A little uh, maybe dry cocoa, possibly some coffee coming in. And Definitely yeah. the coffee notes and right. The cocoa uh, I picked up. Picking it in. Not chocolate, but the cooking cocoa. <laughs> cooking cocoa, right. The, the powder. The powdered yep. cocoa. Unsweetened cocoa. Unsweetened actual cocoa. cocoa. It's, you know, it's, this isn't, I wouldn't call this a creamy cigar. Let's, let's say it's not that. But it's very smooth now. Yep. Um, have not re had to relight it. I haven't had to retouch it. It's a wonderful, that's a wonderful thing. The construction is perfect. It's not splitting, you know, it's not swelling up. No, oh, it's a very well-made cigar. It's, it's uh, you, you can tell there's been pride put into the cigar. The, you know, everything from the triple cap to the, the linen band, um, the wrapper, I mean, how it's constructed, how it's burning. It, there's, this, is a, this is a very nice quality cigar. Um, you know, ranks up there with, with, with some, of the, some of the best I've smoked so far. So it's a fairly complex cigar, you know, it's not one dimensional, I mean, it's changed. It's not drastic changes, but it's had a nice subtle, so I'm going to a third change here. Which you mentioned a few minutes ago, five minutes ago, you were saying you tasted something, and I'm like, no, not yet, and then so, now it's starting to So what to are you get. getting now out of that? You're getting that. <sighs> Let me take a puff and think about it. I can't place, I can't put my finger on it. Uh-huh. want to say licorice? Maybe licorice or anise. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. 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 A little. That's what I would. That's what I'd go with. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's a nice flavor in a cigar. Yeah. And we're not drinking anything. See, this is a cigar. I like my scotches and dark sipping rums. I think a Zion rum, a Ron Zacapa, with this cigar, with the uh, sweetness of the rum. Going with the leathery, offsetting it a little bit, I think would be a nice pairing. I got a nice, and you said you don't, you don't smell well, but I'm getting a nice earthy aroma kind of that. Oh yeah, there's it's a real earthy aroma, and I just hit a very a kind of like a, a an espresso flavor just kicked in right here, you know. And every now and then you don't get that going all the way through the cigar. Sometimes you just pick it up for a few puffs here or there. But I've just picked up that espresso. That's what I think. I'm, I'm going to go with that because you were saying you kept, kept saying you, you tasted a sweetness, and I wasn't getting that. But that's what I was saying—the licorice. Because well, a, that look, maybe that's what I'm tasting. It's, a little it's bit kind of, of like putting a little zambuca in your yeah, uh, espresso, right? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That and that and all, the only thing I'm missing is the lemon peel. <laughs> and I'd have my Italian espresso. Cars are burning very well. Your ash has been great. Mine, nope, no I touch knocked ups. mine off, but I mean that's perfect burn on that. Perfect. And it's full of smoke. Burning in beautifully. I'm actually feeling the uh, little strength coming. Little in. strength coming through now that I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in here. You know, I can feel my little nicotine buzz. A little more in. medium to full now. Very well balanced right now.
Yeah, this is a, uh, you know, it's not a harsh kick you, kick you in the face. Um, I've smoked some of those. They make your eyes water. But uh, definitely full flavor, medium plus body. Yep. That's kind of where I go with this. So you can taste uh, the Lajero. You know, you're you're oh, tasting the Lajero. Oh, you know, yeah, it is. Without a doubt. So let's, uh, let's burn this down a little bit more, get down there until it's a finish. And, get down um, to the roach clips. Get down to the roach clips. <laughs> <laughs> So, so well, we still got a great burn, no relights, no right. issues at all, constructions. Yep, right, right south, of the, south of the band now. Um, definitely picking up some little fuller body. Got a little spice picking coming up in some at more the end, spice, so it's yeah. got a nice spicy finish yep. on this. I'm starting to get that very slight nostril burn, which is nice. I tell you, I wouldn't want to smoke this on an empty stomach. Not me. Not oh now. no! Uh, this is a good after yeah. dinner cigar. Yeah. Um, you know, after a nice lunch maybe. Mm -hmm. But I see this as you know, I like this as a um, as an evening smoke. Um, definitely, like you said, you know, a nice uh, single malt. Uh, you know, a nice aged rum. You know, a nice dark sipping rum goes nice with it. And even possibly, if you're not a, you know, if you're not big into the alcoholic beverages, I would definitely pair it with a nice, you know, espresso, nice oh, always. Cuban, a nice Cuban coffee. You um, get some of the dark beers. Yeah, nice, nice dark beer. It's been an absolute trouble-free cigar. I mean, the construction. You know, yeah. Perfect construction. Not a but it's a very enjoyable cigar. Very nice. And you can feel it. it's not uh, not overpowering. Some complexity, oh. smooth. Good cigar. No bitterness. No. Nope. Just uh, a very a very, very pleasurable smoke. Well, Danny DeFabio and Rodriguez Cigars, we, we appreciate the samples. Yeah. Um, we hope you appreciate the review, and I hope you all that are watching the review uh, enjoy it. If you get a chance, you can get a hold of uh, Rodriguez Cigars um, at Rodriguez Cigars uh, Key West um, online. Um, they'll, they, they sell them online, and they're working to get these now into shops all around the country. So if you don't see him in your shop, you might want to ask your uh, tobacconist if he can uh, possibly get these and even get samples, Danny. We Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Danny. Thank you very much, Rodriguez Cigars, and uh, we'll catch you on the next show.